Hi, this is Jason Trombach, conservation specialist and certified wildlife biologist for Millbourne Seeds. I'm out here today in a, a perennial food plot. Um, these are all native wildflowers that were selected to, uh, basically for like a pheasant food plot, any kind of upland game bird. Uh, the majority of the mix is Maximilian sunflower, false sunflower, Illinois bundle flower. They're all taller native flowers, really durable, produce a lot of seeds. I mean, each one of these sunflower plants might produce tens of thousands of seed that will drop to the ground for the chicks and pheasants to eat. Another one I want to point out to the majority of this is, is Illinois bundle flower. These produce like a legume pod autumn. They produce seed and the insects actually like to burrow up inside these pods. And of course in the main diet of all pheasants during the summer is it's insects. So that's really good, really good wildflower to have as part of this mix. And one of the biggest concerns when you plant a, a wildflower mix like this is how you're going to control weeds. There's about 13 different flowers in there. The flowers we picked are plateau tolerant, so there are some herbicide options. When he planted this about four months ago in the middle of May, we're now right at the beginning of October, he did apply three ounces of plateau and you can see there's pretty minimal weed pressure out here. These, the sunflowers and stuff took over relatively quickly. It was even a tough year. I mean, 2012 in South Dakota, we, we did get a pretty bad drought up here. But you can see how well this established. The guy, the landlord himself, claimed how many broods were out here on the ground, you know, scratching around, find the seeds on the ground. And really stuff. good option if, uh, if you have a food plot that's tough to get to or a food plot you don't want to manage every year. You know, you might have one or two year, years of management with this food pot, then it takes care of itself. It's really something similar to a, a pollinator mix for CRP. So it's something to actually meet the requirements of South Dakota pollinator mixes and actually above and beyond really it. Really durable, will stand up really good in the harsh winters, even up here in South Dakota. This will not lay flat. Produces thousands of seeds and uh, it's something I think you'd be really happy with. This is Jason Tromach, conservation specialist and certified wildlife biologist for Millbourne Seeds.